Over the past six months, I've been on an absolute mission to find the best custom PlayStation 5 controller on the internet today, and we have battle tested six different controllers on the channel in that time frame. I have thoroughly tested them, daily used them, and reviewed them individually in six different videos. But today's video number seven is the most important, and that's because I'm gonna be putting them head to head on a value ranking system and putting them up against each other to help everybody watching decide which controller might be best for them based on not only their setup, their tolerances, and the games that they play. So let me show you guys what I've come up with for you today. So I actually made a tier list, and this is of numerical value. So it ranges from 25 and up all the way up to the tippy top, 55 and up. And to rank them, I created a value ranking system. I came up with this, and everyone's gonna value things a little bit different than I do. But let me explain to you how I'm valuing them so you can figure out if that works for you as well. There are nine key metrics in my value ranking system. So each controller is gonna be tested against all nine metrics we're gonna add up those scores and then we're gonna go ahead and put them on the tier list number one is the price how much and what's the value of the price number two the hardware quality of the controller in hand number three the durability of those controllers that you're playing with number four the customization options available to you when purchasing said controller number five the website a how many options are there is it good is it user friendly those type of things number six the availability as we all know some of these controllers we've waited over a year for so that's an important one to know Number seven, the customer service of the company selling the controller. Now, this one's important as well, just because of the fact that, you know, you want to know that the company you're buying a controller from is reputable and you want to know that in case you need to reach out, that they're going to actually correspond with you back. Number eight, ship time of the product. Number nine, the golden warranty. If anything goes wrong with that controller, how good is the warranty? So I'm excited to get right into this. Before I start my tier list though, if you guys are new or you haven't already, please help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button and give the video a like and share it with a buddy or your Warzone squad or whoever you're gaming with. Help me grow. I would greatly appreciate it because I put a lot of money and time and effort into these videos for you guys. So appreciate you helping me there. We'll go ahead and get started with the Battle Beaver. So number one, the price. Now the Battle Beaver came in at $350, which I believe is the most expensive controller on this entire list. When I give a ranking, because this one is seven out of seven max, it's not just based on, you know, is it the cheapest? Is it the most expensive? expensive. It's based on the value for the price. So this one could be a total of seven out of seven. The Battle Beaver, I gave it a five out of seven. That's a pretty strong value. The Battle Beaver, very nice guys. When you hold this in your hands, it's going to scream out apparent quality right out the gate. There's nothing you're going to touch on this controller that does not feel absolute quality. That is why it has a pretty strong ranking there. Next up, we have hardware quality. With the Battle Beaver, it can be eight out of 10. That's because when you hold it in your hand, it does feel very good. I mean, it's hard to feel much better than that. That would be actually number two on the list in terms of just quality alone. So that's speaking very highly for Battle Beaver. Number three, we have durability. I'm going to go ahead and give a seven. It is a great rating. However, if you guys watch my individual Battle Beaver video, you're going to know that I talked a little bit about some concerns I had for durability in terms of the back buttons here. These back buttons, they just have an ever slightly so much give to them. Makes me a little bit nervous. I just feel like those as as well as these clicky triggers. They do feel good, but they don't feel super solid. They feel great. I have tested so many of these controllers. I just know when I'm feeling something, I'm a little bit suspect in terms of the durability because I know the more customizations, the more that could go wrong with the controller. But still seven out of 10, a great score there. Let's go ahead and get into customization options. Because customization options, when you go to Battle Beaver Customs, I'm telling you what right now, that's a seven out of seven. There is no other company in the game who's doing it like Battle Beaver. This thing has about everything that you could want on it. There's no rumbles in it. So this thing is light as a feather. There's heavy stick tension on my aim stick. I have an elevated right aiming stick as well. We have mouse click short path triggers, all four triggers here. You have a blue of different color arrays and options, the grip on the back. You can basically do anything you want. I really highly encourage you if you're more curious about the customizations, I really took a deep dive in that video. So seven out of seven, which is great. Number five for the Battle Beaver. Personally, I'm just not a big fan of it. The Battle Beaver website, frankly, it just sucks. I'm going to be honest about that. I, I wasn't a fan of their website. And not only that, when they were doing the drops for the website, it was a nightmare to try to buy one of these controllers. I mean, it was an absolute nightmare. Probably the worst experience I've had buying any controller in history. So website, take it as you will. I'm only giving it a two out of five, period. Can't change my mind on that one. Number six, we have product availability. This one is a total out of five. Can be a little annoying 
annoying, but not super important battle beaver. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a two out of five. And the reason for that, as far as availability goes, maybe it's a little better now. It was not very good when I had to buy. Number seven, the customer service. I think what's important to talk about in terms of customer service, just so you guys know, before I bought every one of these controllers, I reached out to every single one of the customer service for all of these companies. And I wanted to do that as a person who they don't know, a person they don't know is making a review on their products, a person that they don't know is a customer of theirs, just to see what types of response times. And I'm happy to say that I think all of these companies got back to me within at least 48 hours, which is pretty good. Some of them got back quicker. Some of them got back within 24. All of these companies that I'm showing you guys today, pretty decent in the customer service department, three out of seven. And the reason why they do reply in a, a reasonable amount of time. However, I have personally been a part of an experience where customer service had to be reached out to Battle Beaver. And, you know, while they do reply quick, it wasn't exactly the most customer service friendly answer. We had to actually escalate and get some type of management involved to get a repair done on a controller. So could happen to anybody. Could have been someone having a bad day, not saying they're bad. I personally, they've been so kind and generous to me, but that doesn't mean that it's like every case basis is the same. Just based on interactions that I've had, three out of seven is more than fair for that category. Now the ship time of the Battle Beaver, that's a one out of four. The ship time is absolutely awful. It took forever to get my controller. I ordered that thing in like August, I believe and I didn't get it until almost Christmas. That's a long time to wait. I realize it's a very custom product, but that's why guys, we only rank that one out of five. I didn't do one out of 10 or anything crazy because again, it's a quality product. Now that I have it, I am thrilled. Let's talk warranties guys, Battle Beaver. I'm gonna go ahead and give Battle Beaver a four out of 10 as far as the warranty goes. The reason I'm gonna do that, the Battle Beaver, A, you have to pay for an extended warranty. It's a 120 day warranty. And when you really go through and read the warranty, guidelines on their website. It seems like a very politically correct way to say it's up to their discretion whether they want to fix it or not. I will say that based on customer interaction and things that I've seen before, it could be a little bit shaky. Depends who you talk to, you know? Not only is it paid, 120 days is very short. That makes me really nervous, to be honest. And then the whole discretionary thing, it's like, I'm not saying they wouldn't. They're very kind. I'm sure they'd be happy to help. However, I just don't like in writing on their website the way that I'm reading the warranty. So that's why I gave them a four out of 10. And guys, the bad Battle Beaver total it is a 40 out of 10. So let's go ahead. Boom. We're going to kick it off 40 category right there. Boom. We got the aim. It is blacked out. I think it looks so dope. This was the first one I got because in comparison to the standard white and black panda look, I wanted something that was blacked out that reminded me of the PlayStation 4 controller and PlayStation 2 controller and PlayStation 3 controller. <laughs> I went ahead and got it all blacked out. We have a nice spattered grip across the entire back, not just the handle. We do have a spider back button paddle system. I'm only opting to use two, but as you can see clearly here and here, you could have four. Um, I have the mouse click triggers, which is really nice. And that's about it as far as customizations goes. This does have rumbles in it, although AIM does let you take them out if you want. This controller, as far as price, was $280. Again, this is our second most expensive controller on today's list, so that's pretty important to know. But is it a $280 controller in hand when you feel it? This is how I feel about it. It. Out of seven, I'm gonna go ahead and similarly to Battle Beaver, four. I think it is. I think it's a good controller. When I held it, I thought I was getting more than $280 of value, but I could justify it. So it's gonna get a four out of seven. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the hardware quality. Out of 10, I gave it a five. And the reason for this, upon initial impression, when you put it, you know, right in hand like this, it feels good. It feels really solid. The grip feels nice. The materials feel nice. Two things I wasn't a fan of. I was a fan of most things. I was not a fan of the joysticks, especially when I remove them and put them back. I don't know, just didn't feel very durable to me. They felt like cheap plastic. Number two, this paddle system does not feel very good. It just, that's just my opinion. It feels very like, solid. Like the functionality feels A1, but the materials used do not. They feel D grade. That's why it got a five out of 10. Next up, we have the durability portion. So as far as durability on the aim, I give that one out of 10 max a two. Here is my justification why I would do that right out the gate. Major stick drift. I played with all the UI settings in game, dead zones, like everything you can think of, right? Second of all, major reliability issues with this mouse click trigger here. I would be hopping into gunfights in Call of Duty and my guy would ADS like this and not even fire one round. When I tell you if you're a competitive player playing league play or anything like that and you're in a ranked gaming system, you have a guy and you go, 
and nothing happens, the amount of frustration with this controller right here had me scouring to find another one. This is where the origin story goes as to why I started this list in the first place, guys. So that's a two out of 10 as far as durability goes, okay? Number four, we have customization options. We have a five. It's really good. There's actually a ton of options on there as far as like performance upgrades and aesthetic. So five out of seven there, nothing to complain about. Great controller in that department. As far as the AIM website goes, honestly, four out of five. It's pretty dang good. Nothing to complain there. The website is easy to read. It's easy to build a controller. It's easy to check out. You don't have to, you know, go into too many tabs. It's pretty user-friendly. I like their website. Number six, availability. Five out of five. There are some sold out products on the AIM website, but for the most part, if you build a custom controller at any given time, you're going to be able to get that controller. I tried to find Scuff. I tried to find Battle Beaver. I tried to find all these different companies I had heard of before that pro players were using, and none of them, none of them had a controller available or had a controller available for purchase. I found AIM, great looking website, great customization options, and they were ready to go out the gate. So that's why they're gonna get that rating there. Let's go ahead and look at seven, the customer service for AIM. This is out of seven max. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give them a four. This is why I had issues, like I stated before, with this controller out the gate, guys. Here was the thing. I reached out to them because my viewers and subscribers, they wanted to know, are they gonna fix it? What are they gonna do about it? I reached out to them. They were very kind. They were very nice. They replied within 24 hours. That's good. Here's my issue. They kindly told me, prove it. And when they said that, like, I gave them an entire essay of this is what's wrong with the controller. Here's what's happening to a T. And I mean, like, blatant description. Like, they know exactly what's going on. And they were just kind of like, prove it by sending in a video showing us you can re-replicate it multiple times over. I understand that maybe some people don't explain things very well. And the, the company is probably just trying to figure out a good way for the customers and the technicians to interact so that they can see visually what's going on so they can help fix it. But I didn't like that. They were making me jump through too many hoops. They sent me this super long email telling me to jump through all these hoops if I wanna get the controller fixed. Very kind, I'm not mad about it, like not at all, but I gave them so much more than enough evidence. That's why they're getting a four out of seven. I'm not gonna dock them too bad, but I, I'm not a fan of that. As far as ship time goes, we are gonna give them a two out of five possible, four to six months for this one to ship. And it just took like a super long time. So I was checking their website like nuts, wondering if I got scammed, wondering where the heck my controller was at. I was really sketched out for a long time and it finally showed. So ship time, pretty bad. If you order one, probably gonna take a while. And last but not least, the warranty. This is to some people the most important part. And I'm, I'm happy to say that the highest rated warranty of the day is actually gonna go to AIM. And the reason for that guys, it's not only is it free, it's lifetime. They guarantee the triggers, the paddles, the buttons, everything on here lifetime. I will say, you know, you got to jump through some hoops and you really got to prove it. They didn't say prove it. They did not quote unquote say that. Politically correctly said, send me video evidence replicating the problem over and over. But dude, lifetime, you know, that's pretty comfortable right there. So AIM is going to get a maximum of a 31 score. So we're going to go ahead and put that boom in our 30 plus list. Let's go ahead and get into a different type of controller. This is a customized controller. It's the dream controller. This is a modded controller for those of you who know about modded controllers. So we'll go ahead and run through this one really quick because we did review it on the channel. As far as price goes, this is going to be our least expensive of the day. $140 in terms of value. I'm going to give it a four out of seven. Not a super expensive controller. In my opinion, a tad bit overpriced for what you're getting. With this controller, they're not really making any like modifications to hardware, no back buttons, no, you know, no clicky triggers, no different thumbsticks that you can't even change them out. All they're doing is like hydro dipping and adding a mod chip side of here. So it's really not like a ton that goes into the price value. Hardware quality of the dream out of the 10 total max, we're gonna give it a four. And the reason why it is just a standard dual sense controller, just like this one. I talked about this in the video. The hydro dip sucks. They need to clear coat it. It's like super rough. I could probably take a paper clip and just wreck this entire paint job. It doesn't even feel good. So I wasn't like a huge fan. Other than that, the actual controller is super sturdy because it's just an OEM model of this. So, you know, it is going to get a four. It's not like a flimsy controller, just like a really bad paint job, which I guess isn't that big of a deal. The durability was good. I had a little bit of stick drift issues in the beginning with it. However, those things have kind of sorted out, which is great. That's why I knocked it back a few points. Okay. So number four, we have customization options. There are literally no customization options. So right out the gate, the only thing you can customize on this controller is what design do you want them to, you know, hydro dip it or plasti dip it or whatever it is. There's really nothing to speak of as far as like 
customization options go. Number five, Dream website's actually pretty dang good. So that's gonna remain a four out of five. Availability of the Dream, number six. This sucks, but it's getting a one. And the reason for that, like it was super available back when I ordered one of these. I got it within days, like it was great. But the issue with it was they sold out. Like you guys went nuts on that video I posted and started ordering a ton of these and they sold out of PS5 controllers. You go on their website right now, they're sold out. You can't even buy a PlayStation 5 controller. They only have Xbox and Nintendo controllers and things like that. So they straight up sold out. So there's like no availability right now. They gotta get a one out of five for that. Okay, customer service with Dream, seven out of seven. Their customer service has been awesome. I'll tell you this, I talked to them before I was a customer and they were very good, very kind. But it was like 20, 30 minutes after I posted my video and I. I said I had stick drift. These guys reached out to me within 20, 30 minutes asking if they could make it right and send me a brand new one, free shipping the whole nine. And they never even wanted or asked for me to update you guys. Oh, they fixed it. They did right by me. Like none of that. I appreciated the way that they handled it. And I thought they had good customer service. As far as ship time goes out of a five max, they were a five. It came so fast. It's nuts. Warranty on the dream is going to be a four. A, you have to pay $35 for it. B, Kind of like Battle Beaver when you read the warranty on the website. It seems a little vague and it seems like it's up to their discretion. I will say out of any company, I feel super confident with as great of customer service as they have. Their discretion's probably pretty good and they're probably gonna help you, but I don't like to deal in probablys and based on what's written on the website, I don't like having to pay for the warranty either. That one is gonna get a total 37, which puts Dream right next to the AIM controller. Next up, we have our Hex Rival controller. Now this controller, you guys have heard me rant and rave about because I have used this almost exclusively for Call of Duty, Ranked, League Plays, Warzone. This has been a pretty reliable, you know, like SpongeBob's fishing man. That's, that's what I call that controller there. It was $250. And in terms of value, based on me holding that controller, we're gonna give it a six out of seven because that is value. I'm almost feeling like I'm getting above $250 when I'm holding that one in my hand. And that's why it's getting ranked so high there. Hardware quality, that one is gonna be a seven very good ranking very nice gloss finish feels incredible like customized joysticks that have a concave shape and they also have extra grip inside of them really good they don't slip at all we have interchangeable thumbsticks customization options out the gate we have the grip on the handles we have mouse click triggers we have our remappable back buttons pretty good I'm liking the hardware on there durability we did a 7 out of 10 again very durable controller been using it more than any other controller for sure it's Held up very well and just based on the way that i see wear and tear happening it's still gonna hold up it doesn't feel like it's getting sketchy that's an important thing to know customization options that is going to be five out of seven great ranking and the reason for that is like i said the only things that they don't really have they don't have extended different trigger and button options and variations and then also you cannot remove the rumbles website on the hex goes we're gonna give it a five great website easy to use user friendly you're in you're out quickly you can clearly see everything you're not gonna accidentally order a controller and go oh my gosh why didn't i do that pretty easy no stress good website overall availability we're gonna give that a five these guys are very ready to sell you a controller and that's a good thing every time i've ever looked and i've looked a lot over the past six months ready to go here it is here's the controller this is what we're doing they're always ready and they're always available for you so that's a good thing customer service we give them a five they've always been good nothing above and beyond however i will say they reply quickly very kind very courteous very ready to help nothing over the top so we'll give them a five out of seven there which i believe is fair ship time a five out of five it came within days if you order this you should have it by next week pretty good that's from my experience you know it shocks me it really does it shocks me everyone wants amazon prime so this is like almost the amazon prime of controller shipping as far as warranty goes we have an eight i read their warranty policy i love it reason i love it it is not the most robust however they actually are the only company that i know of it gives a 30-day trial one of my buddies who streams full-time i see you eight is that how you're doing oh <laughs> really ross really yeah. ross he was telling me that he was thinking of buying a hex, but he just didn't know if it was for him. I read him the warranty policy, which states there's a 30 day trial. If you want to buy one of these and you want to test it out for 30 days, and for some reason you're like, you know what? No, nah, these triggers didn't feel like I thought they would. You can actually return it for a refund. They do ask that you pay for shipping back, you know, that's fair. But a 30 day trial, that's called confidence, people. That's called, we guarantee you're going to like this. You're not returning this. So I like that. I, they're calling their shot. I can appreciate that. All of those metrics 
Matrix with a score of 54. That's a big score. Now we're really up into that 50 plus tier. Now we're starting to see like, you know, some controllers set themselves apart in different ways. Everybody values these rankings and these metrics different. So maybe some of your guys' stuff might look like this. You know what I mean? Let's do the scuff next. I think the scuff is one that a lot of people are waiting for. So we have our scuff reflex here. This is the very first PlayStation 5 scuff. This thing, whoo, this thing feels good. I don't care if you're a gamer or not. If I put this control in your hands, you're gonna go, that's a nice control controller that is really nice so this one right here it's got elongated and uh, replaceable joysticks on there it's got a magnetic removable plate on the front the hardware quality feels great the joysticks heavily textured heavily gripped feel amazing the back grip on this reflex pro feels like a goodyear tire you got a four button paddle variation with three different remappable user profiles this thing has got haptic trigger feedback it's got everything and this thing is a really nice controller so as you can tell I'm pumped up about that scuff. So the scuff is $230. So in terms of price, 230 bucks, are you kidding me? Heck nah. That's more than a $230 value. That's a seven out of seven out the gate. I can just tell you that right now. Hardware quality number two. Scuff? Did I just tell you about that hard? That's a 10 out of 10. The best hardware quality I've ever felt on any controller ever. I don't know if it'll be replicated unless it's by Scuff again. I have really extensively used a lot of these controllers. That one feels pretty damn good. Durability, that's a seven out of 10 total. The reason for that, Scuff has been known to have a lot of issues. I have been, again, personally involved, not with this particular Scuff controller, but with Scuff controllers for the PlayStation 4s and other controllers in the past that have had issues from Scuff in terms of like triggers or more importantly, actually the back paddles. Kind of suspect, I don't know. They're not horrible, but they have been known to have some issues. We gotta be real about that. Great product, high quality, just like anything else customizable, maybe some issues. Let's look at customization options. This is gonna be a one out of four. When I went on their website, this is the only one they had. I can't even pick the color I want. So there's no customization options to speak of. You're not going to scuff because you want a custom controller. You're gonna probably go to Battle Beaver for that one. Website. That's easy. That's a five out of five. Not only the best website in the gaming industry, one of the best websites you're gonna come across as a consumer period. Great website, easy to navigate, clearly displays what they're doing, who they are, all their products. I love their website. In the midst of insane traffic, trying to buy that controller, very easy to get in there. I mean, it's a lottery system, so you either get in or you don't. What I'm saying is there's not a lot of freezing, there's not crashing. When I got in, it didn't crash, it didn't you know, kick me out. They've done a good job there. Their website's great. Availability, that's a one out of five. These things are not available at all. It's a lottery type system to try to get one. They're just as hard to get as a PS5. These things are really tough to get your hands on. They're popular and for really good reason. I don't blame people. Customer service. We're going to give them a four. I have had good interaction and they reply very quickly. Nothing over the top whatsoever in terms of customer service for me personally. And also I'm basing this off of three or four other experiences that I've been a part of with scuff customer service in terms of trying to get products fixed. They're pretty good. They're going to help you out. Might be a little frustrating, but then again, and when is dealing with customer service not frustrating? Ship time, we're gonna go ahead and give them a four out of five. I got my scuffs pretty quick. It was like maybe a 30 day wait. That's not too bad. Warranty as far as scuff goes and eight out of 10, six month warranty. That's pretty dang good. I like that. Honestly, if you're using these controllers heavy, heavy, heavy for six months, you're gonna know if you need to use that warranty or not. And scuff is a very known brand. They're willing to help you out. So scuff is going to come in at boom. 53 dang so we had a 54 hex rival and a 53 scuff that's nuts guys i didn't predetermine how i wanted this list to come out i just made all these like right now these are blowing me away this is not what i thought they were gonna be it's actually really tripping me out right now last but not least we have our hex ultimate controller now this is one of hex's brand new playstation 5 controllers i'm interested to see how this one will pan out price very similar it costs the same thing as the rival 250 bucks in terms of value for that we're actually going to knock it a tad bit and give it a five rather than the six we gave the rival. And I'll get into that in just one moment, but let's go ahead and chug along the hardware quality. Five out of 10. Let me go ahead and get to durability and then I'll show you the controller in five out of 10. As far as durability goes, I'm going to be honest, I love this controller. Look how cool this thing is. This feels very similar to our previously mentioned and so far highest ranked X rival However, there are distinct differences in primarily the back of the controller. 
okay? Two things. Number one, this is like the pro grip. This spray grip, that's way nicer. That's like a point deduction in itself. And number two, look at these paddles. These look great. They have four buttons. I love the unique layout of it. I don't know what's the deal though. It's like nice, thick, sturdy plastic here. And as it gets towards like the end of where your finger pulls down on these buttons, it's got a great click, but it feels like it's it feels like it's bending, like it's tapered back. So far, this thing's held up famously, like incredibly. There's literally no issues with this controller. The quality of the back of this one and compared to some of the others, my concerns over durability in terms of grip and paddles, that's why it got knocked back a few. It is a great controller and I've used it extensively and I love it, but I gotta be honest with you guys, you know? I can't be skewed just cause I like hex. That's the thing, customization options. We have a five, pretty point blank period there. Like I said before, you're not really gonna have a ton of customization options. You cannot change the type of paddle system and you cannot remove the rumbles. So that's why it got knocked back too. Other than that, you can change like the grip style and all sorts of different stuff. It's pretty good. Website, that's gonna be a five out of five. Same website as the rival. Easy to use, easy to read, easy to get what you want. Good website overall. Availability, that is gonna be a five because it's readily available when you want it, when you need it. Customer service, we have a six. Again, don't need to like dive all the way into that because we already talked about hex customer service before ship times five out of five order it this week i'm gonna get it next week it's from experience i've ordered three controllers from them happened every single time warranty eight out of ten they do offer that 30-day trial guys they're putting their money where their mouth is i appreciate that overall is a 49 Ooh, just missing out on that top tier list so as you guys can see how this is going to pan out here we have our hex rival in the top spot and there was no perfect controller on this list it's not there however the scuff f FPS, it might hit that top and we'll find out when that controller comes out. I don't know. But as it is now, Hex Rival the best and we got our scuff. Those are my top two. Most customizable by a long shot, that Battle Beaver. If you're looking for a quality, super ultimate customizable controller that no one else has, you go to battlebeavercustoms.com. Hex coming in number two again with their ultimate. Aim, it was good. Just had too many issues with it. Dream, pretty solid there. If you're looking for that type of modded controller, there you go. Keep in mind guys, every single one of these videos, I have done an individual review on and spend about 10 minutes on each controller specifically. I want to see between the Battle Beaver and the Scuff. Go watch those two videos. They're on my channel. These are actually what the thumbnails look like. Go watch all those videos and then you guys can figure out and determine your own value ranking systems and figure out what makes sense for you in terms of value. But I hope this video really helped you guys out. I enjoyed making it. This was six months in the making. I had so much fun. If you guys want to see me do like Xbox controllers, PC controllers overall next, let me know down in the comments section below. Please help me get to that 10,000 subscriber mark by hitting the subscribe button. And until I see you guys on next week's videos, we out.